Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mimi. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. And if you're already a existing subscriber, thank you for being part of the Soul Tribe family. And I just want to appreciate all my subscribers that's been riding with me, that's always there for me. And thank you for everyone that sowed a seed to this ministry, that sowed a seed to this channel. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate all the love and support that you actually give me because it, it means a lot to me. And everyone that donated to my channel that showed me love and support, I'm always praying for you. I'm always asking God to deliver you, to bring riches to you, to bring all the good stuff to you because you deserve it. But this message that I have that I want to share with my brothers and sisters uh, it's, I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. I've been going through a lot of other stuff, you know, personal stuff, you know. I'm a single mom. I'm still waiting for my husband. So I've been going through a lot of stuff where I have to do everything by myself. So it's overwhelming. And sometimes I don't have the time to give the message, even when God telling me, you have to give my people the message. You have to give my people the message. So God was giving me this urgency, like, you know, even though I had my own personal problem that I had going on, God was like, you have to give my people the message because I'm using you to deliver them. So this message, this message is not for everyone. This message is for someone that's like single. You, you, you've been lonely. This message is for the lonely. Like you've been lonely. Nobody been there for you. You've been having to do life by yourself for years. You had to fend for yourself. So in the message, I kept seeing God saying that. My children have been fending for themselves. My children have been fending for themselves. They have been giving and giving and giving and showing up and go to work, making sure you have been make you have been working so hard, making sure every establishment everything work out, providing for your kids. If you don't have kids, you you've been the giver, you've been the worker. God said, but who's taking care of you? I heard in the spirit, it was so soft. God said, you do so much, but who's taking care of you? Who is taking care of the giver? Who? And another thing is, I'm going to be honest, what I have learned me being in my masculine energy, me being a provider, me have to take care of my children. I have a new respect for men. Men is a provider. They they always got to go out there. They always got to provide. They they have this responsibility that's on them. They have to be the go-getter. They have to make sure that they provide the lifestyle for the family. So when you're a single parent, you get to be in that position. You get to be in that masculine energy, even though you don't want to. You just want to be a woman. You just want to have that soft life. But when you're a single parent, when you don't have a significant other, you have to carry all the weight, all of it. And it's heavy. When I tell you, my life is heavy. But one thing I have learned, whether it's heavy or not, I still have a calling upon my life and my calling is to help people. So no matter what I'm going through in life, I have to be like the superhero to save others because that's knowledge, that's information that I know that they don't know that can help them. So when I come to this platform, take it really serious. I'm not every other, you know... People that you see on YouTube, I'm very, like, very selective. I'm, like, very picky. And been in this platform, I have people that say negative stuff to me, but I just brush it off because I know what my purpose is here. I'm not doing... I'm not saying I'm doing this for money or not. I'm just saying that I have come here because when you have a divine mission... Whether you get paid for it or not, you still have to do it. So in this platform, I'm going to elevate you. I'm going to teach you. I'm going to show you 
how to be the best version of yourself. By me going through the stuff that you're going through, by me overcoming it, the only blessful thing about me being a life coach, me being in this platform, is I have overcome darkness that you're going through. Because I overcome it, I could teach you, I could tell you how to, is a mind over matter or spiritual warfare, or I could teach you how to not be bothered, or I could teach you many different things to help you elevate. A lot of people in YouTube, they just want to sell you a word or a scripture. I don't know what, what they doing, but I don't bash anybody because everybody have to do something, especially this day, to make money. But in this platform, when you come here, Mimi is going to teach you. I am a teacher. I am a spiritual teacher. I have been a spiritual teacher all my life, even when I was a kid. So God is trying to tell you, if you're hearing this message, your life is about to change. You know why your life is going to change? Just like Mimi. You have been obedient. You're so obedient. You're so faithful. God said, you are so faithful. God has said, I've been going around to see who I can find that is trustworthy. Oh, baby, you are trustworthy with the small thing. You're going to be trustworthy with the big thing. Oh, you're going to be so rich. <laughs> what I tell you? you is a, it's a divine wealth transfer that's coming for you. And this wealth transfer that's coming for you is not just for you to just abuse the wealth and do whatever you have to do. God's saying that the wicked, those wicked charity, those wicked life, those wicked people that have been abusing the power. Now, God said, I'm going to give a righteous person this position. I'm going to give. This righteous person, you are the righteous person. I'm going to give you a big assignment. Your assignment that's coming, it comes with a lot of wealth. Because you have been, <laughs> I, I see in the spirit, you have done good with the little. So God trusts that you will do good with the right. Do you understand what I'm saying? You have been faithful with the little. And now God is going to give you big and mighty things, contracts, opportunity, position, things that you have never saw in your life before. It's going to scare you a little bit because you're so used to struggling. You're so used to poverty. You're so used to things never working out for you. But God said, I trust you because I have seen you with the little thing. I have seen you in poverty. I have seen you in challenges. I have seen you in your worst position. But you still had integrity. You still have moral. You still have respect. Whoever's hearing this message, if you hear this message, God said, baby, I'm choosing you because I have saw you in the struggle life. I have saw you in the poverty life and you pass with A plus. You pass this test. Whoever's hearing this message, you pass this test because God said, I seen you when you had nothing, when you had little and when how people mistreat you. How they abuse you. How they use your problem and guess you. So now this is for your moment. I said, nothing will be voided. In in the heaven, there's nothing voided. You reap what you sow. So if you if you sow good stuff, if you if you're a righteous person, if you're a good person, you always do right by people, get ready. Get ready. This is your season. This is your harvest season. 
I know you hear it so many times. When is it coming? When is it coming? It is now. Don't you agree to everything you've been through? Don't you deserve a reward for that? Have you ever thought that you deserve a reward for every bad thing that happened to you? That was not your fault. Are you going to let life just bully you and abuse you and hurt you? And you're a good person? The wicked people live in their best life. You are God righteous. You are the God. You are the child of the most high God. Don't you deserve to have some type of royalty, living some type of great life, living some type of protection life? Now, God said, this is your moment. You have been so righteous. You too righteous. I'm going to use the word too righteous. You too nice. You too good. You too, you too pure. You too perfect. God said, ain't no way I'm not about to bless you. I have to bless you because you're so perfect in God's eyes. I know every nobody is perfect, but God said, the wickedness that's out here, you don't even match it. The evilness that's in this world right now, you too soft for that. You so righteous, you so pure, you so good. That's why this blessing that's coming for you, this wealth transfer, this assignment, this divine assignment, this divine marriage, this you're gonna have a whole soul tribe that come to you. Be ready to receive all those good people. Everything that you have worked so hard for is going to come to pass. It must. When I pray, I command, I declare, and I decree, it must happen. Because that's what God said. What God said, you must agree with it. No more living in poverty. No more living in lack. No more living loneliness. I don't care if you 60, you 70, you 50, you 40, you 20. You will not live alone. God will going to send you your partner and you need your divine partner to 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 make to to complete the mission. This divine mission that God wants you to complete while you're here, while you was born to do, you can't do it alone. I'm sorry, in life you can't do things alone. You need a whole team, you need someone to help you. You can't do life alone. You could have a lonely season. But you can't go all your life alone. That's not God's will. So everybody that's been alone, if you've been alone for at least five, three, seven years, God said, now it's time for you to come out of your shell. It is time for you. I'm going to partner you up with some high divine people that elevate you. And you are going to do my divine mission. You're going to do God's will. That's what you was put here to do, to do God's will. Not your will. Yes, you will do your will. You get to live your best life. But you, the divine mission, by you having this partner, by you having all this wealth that's coming for you, by you having everything, is because God have a divine mission and he chose you to do it. You have to build hospitals, churches. You have to build communities. You have to make the world a better place. And you are chosen to do that. You have the knowledge. You have the spirit in you. And God have the protection over your life. So ain't nobody can stop nothing. You are chosen to do this will. To do this mission. So I hope you get this word. This word is if you hear it and it resonates with you, just know that it's your divine mission. Sometimes God been trying to tell you things. Oh, you don't want to hear it. And then God's going to give you a message that's going to be like, okay, God, I get it. You, yes, you telling me. You telling me four times. Well, this is the divine confirmation. You are going to do bigger and better things. You are not going to suffer all your life. You're not going to be in a 9 to 5 job all your life. You're not going to be a beggar all your life. You're not going to be worried and stressed out all your life. God said, I have seen you so faithful and so obedient. God is in love with your faithfulness. 
God is in love with your obedience. God saw how with the little you had, how people mistreat you, how you still held your head up high. Now you deserve to have the good life. You deserve to go out there and be a teacher to other and teach them. You go on open organization. I prophesied over your life. You're going to open organization. You're going to do mighty and bigger thing for God kingdom. You will not be a waste energy that come to this earth, but you actually will put life back. And God said, I chose you to do the work because I trust your faithfulness. I trust you obedient. God said, those wicked people, I will never trust them to do no work for me. But I trust you. So if you hear this message, God have chose you.